Hello, dear viewers. We are at the Technopolis Moscow construction site in Alabushava, where the construction of the future Sovel Mosh D and E takes place. In this video, we will tell you a lot of interesting things and try to delve into processes related to the construction and the areas of responsibility assigned to the employees. Enjoy watching. Yuri Sergeyevich, hello. Good afternoon. We finally got to you, and I think our viewers will be very interested to meet a new official employee who works directly on the construction site. As far as I understand, you represent Sobelmash, right? Yes, that's right. And your participation in the construction process, both in terms of documentation and probably in many other areas, is really very important and necessary. Here, in fact, let's try to figure out what are you engaged in and how the construction side works in general. Well, on behalf of our organization, I carry out construction control of all the construction works that I carried out here on the site. The procedure is as follows. We receive the drawings and detailed scope of work to be performed from the construction project, the customer's management. Based on these drawings, the cost estimate documentation is drawn up, in which I check. My task is to check the scope of works performed. To ensure that the scope of works performed that is included in the cost estimate documentation complies with the detailed design documentation. After that, we sign these estimates. Of course, the cost estimate units view the cost characteristics. I mean, how much this or that work costs. And then we give it to our general contractor, the company Hacka Moscow, that on the basis of these drawings performs the construction and installation works. Unfortunately, today you can see for yourself what the temperature difference is and how unstable the weather is. So we are not able to deploy the whole scope of works on the construction site. But today we can only be proud of some things. First, we are no longer dependent on the generator that used to be here and provided us with electricity. We now have an outdoor complete transformer substation. It has been connected. We have submitted everything to the supervisory authorities. Now everything works in a regular mode and we get electricity. And secondly, these are the first foundations. The ones that are here, five pieces, the concrete blinding has been done, the reinforcement frames has been installed, the formwork is done, and on Thursday we will work with these five foundations. Unfortunately, only five. Why? Because you know, the weather affects the overall situation a lot. If it was summer, of course, the work would be going at full tilt now. And since you have to add all sorts of other gradients to the concrete, those that contribute to better bonding, there are some problems here. The company Astrong, that is a contractor currently, has already brought almost all the structures here. I mean the frame. There are three trucks left. And then there is a schedule for the installation of foundations. And I hope that the deadlines will be met by Haika, because, I mean, I have no doubt that they will be met. Everything is going the way it should. And the most important thing in these foundations is to properly install the anchor bolts. This is the most important, crucial moment. I think they can handle them. After that, my task is to check the scope of works performed. That is, using laser tape measures, I check the amount of work that company Hacker has completed, sign the acts for the work performed, and then hand them to the management of our developer, so that they sign and pay the money. But actually, can you elaborate on the control? Why this procedure has been introduced, and whether it is possible to carry out the construction works without it? I think then we also have a technical customer who, just like me, monitors the quality of their work performance. Why? Because the most important thing is the quality of work performance. And then for everyone to know, the money is not just paid for nothing, but the money goes in the right direction and is not paid in excessive amounts. Because there is a detailed design documentation, which clearly states that the foundation of 180 cubic meters is poured and it must be carefully checked so that our contractor 
and the general contractor do not have the opportunity to exceed the scope of work performed. This is the most important point. I am here like a control body that checks everything and assesses everything and monitors everything. That is in fact an additional level of control, which 100% rules out all possible errors of any kind. Yes, I think that this is the right reason, because then on the basis of this work done, Hacker immediately prepares the as-built documentation, which we will need in the future, for the operation of this facility. That is for the commissioning too, I suppose. Well, commissioning the facility is the most fundamental thing, but at the end of the day, what we all should know very well is where our drainage lines go, where our pipe goes, with the deviation if there is a deviation or there is no deviation. There are practically no such deviations today. The only thing is that when we were digging pit, there was garbage. We removed this garbage, of course. The act was drawn up in my presence and in this case, everyone should be sure that the site has been properly prepared, for which I am responsible. It's back filled with sand, everything is flattened there, and I'm sure that in the future everything should go smoothly and just well. Excellent. And the subcontractor company Astral, as far as I know, produces steel structures for the future building. And basically, I think many of our viewers have already seen the amount of these steel structures already located on the construction site. But will the company Astron be responsible for something else? Will it carry out any works? The company Astron, in addition to manufacturing the supported frame, will install it. And then it will be responsible to us for the correct installation. Because there are also certain aspects to be met in connection with the detailed design documentation. How to properly mount it, there are bolts used, we'll discuss the tightening the bolts with you in the next stage, so that everyone is sure that this building will not collapse. And then they will do the roof to rule out any leaks, so that we have a proper, good building. But I hope that sometime in the autumn we will start the work on the engineering systems that we are supposed to set up in this building. So all these works will be going under your control. Yes, I will control the whole matter. And then, therefore, the management of our enterprise also controls this whole matter. And every Tuesday the meetings are held here to discuss the burning issues, those that come to mind first. I think our viewers, after we've met with you, We'll more, well, knowingly see what's going on here and understand why there are some minor delays. And the delays here occur only for a reason, because the snow, which lies here, and the temperature do not allow us to perform with due quality. Because the procedure for pouring the foundations is as follows. Here it is necessary to remove the snow, that's one thing, then spread out electric mats, to warm up the ground, which is frozen a meter deep, then check the temperature inside the ground, and only then start the works. First, the concrete blinding, then the formwork, and after that filling the whole thing with concrete. On the one hand, it seems somehow fast, but there are certain nuances to make sure the quality of the foundation, which the company Hakka is to make, corresponds to all the regulatory parameters. This requires a certain time for hitting the foundation itself and determining the temperature conditions. Everything is documented in our journals. Hakka knows about it. The technological workflow has been worked out by them. They've been doing all this for years, but unfortunately the temperature goes up and down, and it says everything. That is as far as I understand, even those small temporary delays that have been raising due to the weather conditions will be caught up and will be able to increase the pace. Or how does it work? I think that the pace will increase after we put the engineering systems box, because some specialized companies will get involved in mounting engineering systems, and they will work together with company Hacker. That's it, and I think, I'm sure, in fact, that there will be no such delays, and we will go forward with great strides. Thank you very much. It was very comprehensive and interesting. Our viewers, please follow the videos, ask questions that are of interest for you in the comments. Well, there are even more interesting materials lying in store for you. 
Yes, all the best. I am very happy to help you in some way, so that our viewers more clearly understand our tasks and our control. Thank you, Yuri.